Now to the latest on the so-called murder hornets from Japan. Scientists are tracking sightings of the invasive insect species in Washington state. It leaves some asking the question, can the hornets make their way here to Utah? ABC 4's Rosie Nguyen went to the experts to find out. The sting of the Asian giant hornet is nothing to mess around with. Just ask this YouTube personality and animal expert who voluntarily got stung by one in 2018 for his show Brave Wilderness. If you can imagine getting yourself into a scenario where somehow Mike Tyson was able to take an open shot right at your jaw, that is kind of what it feels like. Nicknamed the murder hornets, these invasive insects that can grow up to two inches reportedly kill up to 50 people each year in its native home of Japan. The hornets can destroy an entire beehive in just a matter of hours, and its stinger can pierce through a beekeeper's suit. So far, Washington State is the only place in the U.S. with reported sightings. How mm -hmm. likely can these hornets make their way right now from the Pacific Northwest to our state in Utah? Here in Utah, we're not likely to see them even if they do get established up in the Pacific Northwest. They just can't live in these dry environments that we have here. The good news, experts say even if the species somehow made its way to Utah, it would be a difficult trek and take at least several years. Chances are, um, are good that uh, USDA and Washington Department of Agriculture will be able to eradicate this pest, so hopefully Utah will never see it. If they aren't successful, uh, we will be here uh, to protect the stakeholders here. If you do see one, make sure you stay as far away as possible. Scientists say they don't normally target humans, but they may go after your food. Reporting for ABC4 News, I'm Rosie Nguyen.